gonna look at this? No. If you won't read it, at least let Alex read it to you. If it touches you, good. If it doesn't, not another word. I'll just disappear. Oh, dear boss. <laughs> dear boss, I always... I always swore I'd never ask my father for money, even though he has a lot. But I hoped in some way money might make up for your loss. So even if you never forgive me, I hope you'll accept the enclosed check. With all best wishes for you, dictated but not read, James Ignatowski. Hey, look, this is a check. Hey, Jim, I don't want to criticize your old man, but what good is this check? I mean, he signed it, but he forgot to fill in the amount. A blank no. check? <laughs> Blank check to me, yes. Louis. That's okay, Elaine. Dad said Louis could make it out for whatever amount <clears throat> he thought was fair. I told Dad he could trust your sense of honor. That he can. <laughs> Would you believe it? I'm salivating. <laughs> I'm actually salivating. Ooh. Ooh. Boss? Yeah? Does that mean you forgive me? I forgive you, Iggy. Can I have my job back? You can have your job back. Does it mean you love me again? I didn't love you before. It's like old times. <laughs> Boss, you just make out that check for whatever amount you want, except Accept? What accept? How come accept? Except that I have to call my dad and tell him the amount so he can cover it. Mm. Mm. All right. Uh, now I want complete silence <laughs> while I figure out the amount. <laughs> Jim, are you crazy? He's gonna fill that out for a million dollars. That's why you're a cab driver, Riga. If I fill this check out for a million bucks, his dad would never cover it. But there is a figure, an exact figure, one that's big enough so that he'll go, Ugh. <laughs> but not so big that he won't say, <laughs> Why don't you try the real figure? Eight or nine thousand dollars. 